Hey guys, it's Matt with My Designs here. In this video, I'll be showing you how to sell digital product bundles on Etsy using My Designs. So let's jump right in. We're on the dashboard of the My Designs homepage. Um, what we want to do is navigate to the listings tab on the left side menu here. From here, we want to create a new collection. As you can see, this is an empty collection. Um, I've got one named Home, and then underneath it, I've got one named Test. Uh, we're going to do another one underneath Test just to show you how it's done. Um, we're going to nest it under Test. The template we're installing here is Etsy Digital, as that is the template that we're going to be using for this video. Um, and we're going to name this collection um, Bundle Test, as I'm showing you how to sell bundles on Etsy and then click create collection. As you can see here, we've now got a new collection. All we have to do is just click it to select it and you can see it's empty. So now we wanna upload some files. So this is the file that I'm going to be selling. Or I'm not actually going to sell it on um, Etsy, but I'm gonna go through the process to show you how you could sell this um, if you were going to. So you can see it's an uh, AI file and all of these can be exported as SVGs. They're all individual um, logos that we can even select down here if we would like. Um, but you could sell this whole bundle on Etsy just as it is like this. Um, and then I also have another tab I created here and then I just exported this as a um, PNG so that we can use this to create our mockups to show people what we're selling. Next, we're going to upload some files. We can do that by going to the top right corner here and clicking upload. We can drag and drop or we can click here um, to select the file we'd like. I'm going to drag and drop as I've got it saved on my desktop. And um, just so you know, this is just the PNG um, that we're going to use to create our mockups here. So once we have that, we'll just click upload designs and it works fairly quick. You can see it's already done there. So next, what we want to do is upload our actual file that we're selling to a paying customer on Etsy um, into this zip file here. So these are files slots you can see we've got mock-up one two and three and then zip file the zip file like I said is what the paying customer will receive so we want to make sure that we're putting the right file in there um, I've got one here that has all of those logos I showed you earlier in this video and I'll just drag and drop it and it should upload straight into that slot and there we go so um, the next step is going to be creating some mock-ups and we'll use this PNG that we uploaded as our primary image to do that so to create a mock-up, what we want to do is make sure that we have this design selected. We can do that by clicking on it here, or we can go to the top and click Select All. Now that it's selected, we want to go to More Actions, Mock-ups, and the read image from slot is essentially just the file that we're using to um, create the mockups from. So we're going to select primary, which was that PNG. The write image to slot is going to be mockup one, which was an empty file slot. Next, we're going to come over and search uh, here for digital uh, mockups. And then we'll go ahead and use um, one of these. I'll just use this top wood looking one. Uh, we don't have any data populated right now, but essentially if we had data populated, we could select it here and it would show where you see primary keyword and secondary keyword. Um, the primary color is white, I believe, and that should look great as this is uh, black with the transparent background. So now we can generate a preview by clicking here um, and then we can just double check and make sure it's uh, it looks good and it's how we like it. So I do think that looks pretty good. We'll go ahead and use that one and just click create mockups. You can see here under active jobs that it's working and that should be done relatively quickly. And as you can see, it just got done. We can view that by clicking the mockup one file slot, or we can come over here and select mockup one and it will show up for the entire um, folder or collection. Since we only have one design in there, it's only shown this one in particular. Now I'll create one more mock-up just so I can show you guys again how that's done. Uh, we probably won't do three uh, just to save time here, but we would want more mock-ups if we were actually selling this on um, Etsy. So we'll once again go to digital here. Um, this time we're going to pull from primary and write in the second mock-up slot, which is also empty. Uh, we'll use another one of these digital ones like this, generate a preview, make sure it looks how we like it. And I do like that one as well, so we'll click create. Uh, mock-up. Once again, you can see under active jobs that it's working here. And now that that's done, we'll go ahead and preview that one. 
and I think that looks good as well. So the next step is going to be actually publishing this on Etsy. So I've gone ahead and put some data in here um, off video to save some time. This is just some generic data. Normally if I was actually selling this on Etsy, I would do a lot of research on what I'm um, putting here, but I just had to put something there in order to actually publish it. So in order to publish, we just go up to the publish button right next to more actions here and then we click digital uh, platforms Etsy. And keep in mind, you do have to have your Etsy um, shop linked with your My Designs account in order to do this. Um, here, we want to select the files that we're going to sell and we're not converting anything. Um, if you remember right, we put the file that we're actually selling with the 25 logos in it in the zip file. Uh, so we wanna select that and deselect primary and then click next step. Art and collectibles, drawing and illustration is the correct category that I want, but you can change this if you'd like. Um, we are allowed to choose our mockups here that we want to use. Um, if I remember right, it was mockup one and mockup two. And then we have the option to make, excuse me, whatever one we want, our primary mockup. Um, and then we can add a watermark here if we would like as well by clicking that check mark and then typing whatever we want our text to say. Um, I'm not going to do that, but that is how you would do it and then we'll go next step. This is where we map our data. Um, if you're using the Etsy digital template, it should already be done for you. As you can see, it's already mapping the title, description, tags, price, and quantity for me. So we'll hit next here. And then this allows us to preview it before we finally click publish and everything looks good to me. So we'll go ahead and do that. Just like everything else, when we click publish, you'll see under active jobs that it's working here. And then we'll jump over to our Etsy shop to make sure it's uploaded there. So we're over on our Etsy shop now. And as you can see, I'm under the draft tab and we have this logo bundle here. Every time you upload from My Designs to Etsy, it will post it as a draft because Etsy charges a 20 cent listing fee. So all we'd have to do to make this live is click on it here and click publish and pay their 20 cent fee. Um, I'm not going to do that. I was just using this as an example. So I'm going to hit cancel, but that is how you would do it. Now the last thing that I'd like to show you is that once you upload any file to Etsy, if you come over to this right hand column next to your data, you'll see that there's publications. We can actually click on this and it will show that this is published on Etsy. We can click this to take us straight to the link on Etsy and then we can also download the file that the paying customer would receive if they were to purchase this themselves. Now that should do it for this video on how to sell digital product bundles on Etsy using my designs. Hopefully if you guys like this video, you'll comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, for future my designs content.